House won't replace the mayor, but he would step in in her absence, which these trustees say is happening far too often. Oh, snap. <laughs> this is just in case, but we need just in case um, at this moment. We, we have meetings where we're all waiting 45 minutes just to get started, where we have an entire quorum here and we're waiting while the administration adds makeup and gets dressed. And it's just not fair. Their move comes amid mounting scrutiny of how the mayor runs the village and Thornton Township, the FBI serving subpoenas in both places. Greetings, valued viewers. I hope you guys had a great day, a great Tuesday, and welcome to a quick edition of the Independent Mail. Now, if you happen to see the thumbnail and you watch the introduction, then I'm sure you have an idea by now if you like the video. So if you like it, like the video and subscribe and hit the bell. I'll wait, hit the bell. I'm trying to grow this dang thing, okay? Now, I had to jump on here right quick. <clears throat> from a development I saw with the city girl mayor, Tiffany Hinyard, up in Dalton. It appears that the trustees are playing a little bit of chess up there and not playing checkers with her and her goon squad because <clears throat> Tiffany got blamed last week at the town hall by a lot of citizens. So it doesn't matter if she gives them three minutes like they're allotted or even give them two, it's enough time to flame on on her. You know what I'm saying? All right, first off, this is ridiculous. Amen. I'm disabled, Tiffany. Why am I being pushed and why am I being standing outside for over an hour for, for a meeting that's supposed to start it earlier? This is ridiculous. You should have let us in. There's no threats out here today. Now what's the excuse? Do you have an excuse? Your excuse should be that you're stepping down as a mayor because you're a poor excuse for a, for a mayor. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. So, like I was about to say, before I got muted last time, I did have a couple things that I wanted to address to this board. Since you said we need to address your board, all of y'all need to step down and quit. Huh? Keith is a criminal. Stacy is a criminal. You a criminal. You going to jail? The FBI came and raided this place. You can keep lying on TikTok and everything else and saying you ain't get raided, but you did get raided. That's the truth. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So. She is elected to be like, yo, I ain't even showing up for that stuff. Well, what did the trustees do? The trustees are like, yo, you either show up and you take some of this or, or you're gonna deal with this temporary mayor that we've elected for when you don't show up so that we can still get things done. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna show up and be accountable or we're gonna operate without you. But don't take my word for it. Let's take theirs. Up the clip. Puts a new plan in place in Dalton. Trustees have chosen someone to replace the mayor if she's not there. Oh, snap. WGN's Jenna Barnes is joining us live from tonight's meeting with more, Jenna. Yeah, Ray and Micah, Mayor Tiffany Henyard did not attend tonight's meeting, which is no surprise, but these trustees say it is a big part of the problem. That's why they appointed a mayor pro tem tonight. We have many cases where village business uh, cannot go forward. The Dalton trustees opposed to Mayor Tiffany Henyard say she's missed 25 of these special meetings and counting, and she refuses to allow some village business to be put on the agenda for the village's regular meetings. That's why three of them voted to appoint Jason House as mayor pro temp. We're just really trying to make sure that if something critical comes up, that there's a signature on deck that can move it forward. House won't replace the mayor, but he would step in in her absence, which these trustees say is happening far too often. This is just in case, but we need just in case um, at this moment. We, we have meetings where we're all waiting 45 minutes just to get started, where we have an entire quorum here and we're waiting while the administration adds makeup and gets dressed. And it's just not fair. Their move comes amid mounting scrutiny of how the mayor runs the village and Thornton Township, the FBI serving subpoenas in both places. Oh, snap. <laughs> 
Fields. Henyard's top aide, Keith Freeman, charged with bankruptcy fraud, and her ally on the board of trustees and activist Andrew Holmes accused of sexual assault on a taxpayer-funded trip to Las Vegas. We're paying these people, and it's like we're paying for them to abuse us. We know what she is doing, and it will be stopped. At the special meeting, the trustees also voted to make whole a waste management company whose payments were overdue, and they refused to move hundreds of thousands of dollars from one village account into another at the request of Henyard's administration because they say they received no explanation why the move was necessary. It comes a week after Henyard vetoed their hiring of former Chicago mayor Lori Lightfoot to investigate. How dare you think you could come in someone's town and start uh, working or doing something, even though we said something stating it's illegal. Um, we cited the code and everything in here, and um, she will not be paid for services. Uh, like they have done before, these trustees say they will override the mayor's veto. They tell me that'll happen at the village's board meeting in the first week of June. We're live in Dalton tonight. Jenna Barnes, WGN News. Yo, I cannot wait to see how this shakes out. On the next meeting, the trustees are like, we're going to override your Lightfoot veto if you don't show up. And it seems like they're going to override it if you do show up. So I cannot wait. And please make sure y'all have this meeting before the 7th of June. They said the first week of June. So please make sure it's before the 7th, before I go to Costa Rica, because I have to see if Miss Hidyard shows up and if they're going to bring Miss Lightfoot in because she thought she was going to escape all this accountability and it doesn't look like it. Yo, man. Until next time, everybody, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell. Peace and stay informed. <laughs>